With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a point and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler point action menu. Locate the bridge action. With the bridge action selected, you'll have a series of targets and then some modifiers down below. To start off, let's select the two points target. Returning to your model and hovering over a point, you'll see that you'll get the option to click first point. So just click on that point there. And then hovering over a second point, you'll get the option to click second point. After applying the second click, ZBrush will generate an edge bridge between the two points that you had selected. This is handy when coming through and dividing polys into triangles across areas on your actual mesh. Undoing that and then hovering over a point again and pressing spacebar to go back into the point action menu, let's select the target of ring. Now with the ring target selected, if you turn back to your model and simply click on a point, ZBrush will generate edge bridging from the initial point that you clicked to the surrounding points. Undoing that quick and hovering over a point again and going back into the point action menu. We also have a series of modifiers that correspond to the actual ring target. We can determine if we want the actual area to have creasing or no creasing. And then we can determine if we want the actual area to be regrouped with a new polygroup or keep the existing one. So if I turn the do not crease on and then turn the do not regroup on and come back and click on a point here, you'll see the bridging has been generated across the polys there, but I do not have a crease that has now been generated and the poly grouping is now the same as it was originally on the actual mesh. So using this bridge points option, you can come through and start applying different topology to your models and then use other actions like the poly inset function to come through and start adding different variation and shapes to your models.